<laughs> I forgot what we were talking about. It's okay. Anyways, yeah. Oh, well, remember that movie we saw? Yeah, that main movie? The yeah. one you wanted to watch? No, I didn't yeah. want to watch it. No, I didn't yeah. watch it. <laughs> Anyways, I had to call someone, so like, go. Okay, I guess. If you don't want to talk to me. No, I don't. All right, bye. All right, bye. <laughs> Job done. I need you to clean up Ana Isa and finally Manuel. Since they're not that good at math or memorizing math problems, I want you to give them a math problem that they learned like at the beginning of the school year. And if they get it right, which I doubt they would, um, let them go. And if they don't solve the problem, then keep them and until well until they die or something. I want you to do this job because they're, you're the only one that's good at this kind of job. So, yeah, just do the job right and give them a problem they would never really solve. Alright then, thanks. to wake up. Attack you four minutes to complete the task. If you want to continue to stay in this beautiful, wonderful world, so this can be so damn disturbing at some point. Janice holding a balloon. The angle of the elevation of the string is 35 degrees. How long must the balloon be in order for the balloon to fly 25 feet off of the ground if the hand holding the balloon string is four feet from the ground? Okay, so so far, Naisa, I drew the triangle and then just put the parts where it is. Don't we have to use Sokotoa? Remember what Mr. Apollo told us like in the beginning of the year? Remember this. So it's 35 degrees? Yeah, it's 35 degrees. Okay, so it's 25 feet here. And we need to find Sokotoa. We need to find the opposite, which is X. So you're going to have to... So uh, so, uh, Hurry, child, time is running out. And then 
This is sign opposite opposite hypotenuse. So you need sine thirty-five equals twenty-five feet over x. Then you then you ask multiply. And then the sine of thirty-five. Okay, so the sine of 35 is, okay. See, my calculator works, and it has batteries, not like Mr. Ripado's. Oh, that's true. I'm going to get x by itself, so we cross. Wait. Pause it, pause it. Alright, son. In order for you and your two friends to get at, you must explain Step by step. Okay, this is the Soka Toa problem. Mr. Rikpala taught us this in the beginning of the year. What we have to do is the, the balloon is 25 feet off the ground and it's at a 35 degree angle. So we have to draw a right triangle. And then we know that from 35, we're trying to, we're trying to find X, which is how high the, the balloon is. So our opposite is 25 feet and our angle is 35 feet and our hypotenuse is x so what we have to do is remember so katoa so means opposite over hypotenuse and the opposite is 25 and the hypotenuse is x so we have to write sine of 35 degrees <coughs> equals 25 over x and then the sine of 35 degrees is 0 0.573 equals 25 <coughs> over x and then we have to cross multiply, and then we'll have 0.573x equals 25, and then you divide both sides by 0.573, and then I get 43.6 43, 43 feet as x. You seem to know your math, child. Child, the answer seems to be right. As a reward for solving my lifelong conflict, I will let you and your two friends free. You're free to go. I told you to give them a math problem they wouldn't understand or even know. Don't lie, I just saw them right now. The job was to give them a math problem they wouldn't know or understand and then like, yeah, they wouldn't have to be gone from the place you put them in. I told you to do the job because you were the only one that was capable of this kind of job. Hello?